Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. Do you have a super amazing wagon adventure? It is what it says on the tin. It's by a company called Sparse Vector. It's another 8-bit style game. Oh, God. What is it with gluts of these things? I tell you. We had how many zombie games that I've had to slog my way through, and now it seems like all I'm getting are games with really terrible graphics. <laughs> At least this one has a good reason, because it's supposed to evoke the memory of Oregon Trail. Which look terrible, as most people are aware. So, at least they've, they've got an excuse for that. Plus, you know, the name of the company is Sparse Vector, so they get a few little bonus points from that. Alright. Graphics. Lol. I mean, the fact that this even has a menu is hilarious. But there is a CRT effect, an optional CRT effect. This does not make the graphics look any better, and quite frankly, is obnoxious, so it will be turned off for the purpose of this video. Mostly because I expect a lot of people to say, Why is the black bars? You're terrible at videos! Yeah, I'm just, yeah. What can I say? I know my audience. But what is it all about? Well, it's supposed to be a very fast-paced Oregon Trail-style adventure that can be beaten in about 10 minutes, assuming that you don't die. You start with three guys who you can name, and you get on your wagon and you try to cross the Great American Plains. And you encounter a bunch of scenes while you're doing so. Now by scenes, I'm talking mostly first-person shooter stuff, which also involves getting pickups. First-person shooter? Where'd I get that one from? That was weird. Just general four-directional, eight-directional kind of shooter things. You'll see when you get into it. Let's start an adventure, shall we? The most obnoxious thing about this game to begin with is the font that they use, which actually makes reading everything more difficult than it should be. Alright, let us customize our fellows. The first party member was Total Biscuit, naturally. Total Biscuit was a fine gentleman. He had balding grey hair. Seem, seems reasonable. The second member of the party was Jesse. Jesse was a fine gentleman. He had... Which looks... He did not have sweet shades. No. I'm not going to give him that kind of credit. That's unreasonable. A hipster mustache. Alright, that sounds fine. The third party member was Dodger. Dodger was... Well, I wouldn't describe her as that, but we'll go with it. Blue hair. Yep, that seems legit. Behold the party. Let's see how long the party can survive in Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. They traveled in their trusty wagon. It looked something like this. There are unlockable wagons. I believe one of them is a dinosaur. Yes. I don't think I've unlocked any of these yet. Alright, let's give the game a try. Into the forest we go. So a bunch of random events all over the place. Every playthrough... Oh, well, that's a great start. Every playthrough is supposed to be... a little different. So already Dodger is almost dead, thanks to TB. Big surprise. Seeing some animals in a... No, idea. God, you are too quick. What the hell? All right, I, I assume we've got to gun down all the animals, which will give us food. No, the skunk is bad, apparently. Seems like we cannot eat skunk, but we can eat squirrel. That's okay. And turkeys and a wide variety of other things. I think running into those is probably a bad thing. Uh-oh. I was going to go for the, the little health upgrade there, but it looks like I'm getting no option to do that because a, po a posse of bandits has interrupted us, and Dodger died from blood loss after a bullet passed through her, whatever the hell that was. So already, we're one party member down. Not not a good start. I, I think we could have probably started off a little better than this. I think, the tu to be fair, the tuberculosis at the start of the game was a little unfair. What the hell? I don't even know what it was that I just used. I, I think I attacked them with an express train. I can't really be 100% certain at this point. Funnily enough, dodging the machine gun guy is just incredibly easy. There we go. Oh, now it ceased to be easy. All right. Can I have a better gun than this? Oh, ooh, bow and arrow. That's actually surprisingly enough better for no apparent reason. Jesse left the wagon and found some edible mushrooms. Oh, yeah, this will go well for him, no doubt. I'm gonna grab that, grab that. I don't know what that is. He felt a little funny. Quite... Oh, right, all right. That's... <laughs> Jesse battled his inner demons that are unsurprisingly pink. Yeah, this, this is no shock to me at all. Jesse's inner demons tend to come out whenever he drinks iron brew, as you're probably well aware. At least he has a decent amount of health. Why half the UI is obscuring the screen, I don't know. I assume that is a deliberate choice here. All right. I thought I tried to pick up the crosshair earlier. Painful memories bounced around in his head. <laughs> what kind of painful memories are these? 
Yeah, I don't really want to know about Jesse's childhood, quite frankly. It, it just, it seems unreasonable. Needless to say, aiming with this thing is is tricky. This is not this is not a good weapon. Oh god damn it! Popping outside the edges of the screen is just evil. Hours later, Jesse returned to reality and the wagon. I unlocked some kind of invisible cow. Great, wonderful. A river crossing. Shall we be fording? I think we be fording. Total Biscuit had the brilliant idea to try and jump over the river. Alternatively, they could just ford it. We are going to ford the river. Needless to say. They made the probably wise decision to do so. Let's be fordin'. Here we go. There were boulders in the river. All right, let's play dodge the boulder. Shouldn't be too difficult. There were a lot of boulders in the river. All right, well, this is slightly trickier. There we go. Still not impossible, though. Something, something. Oh, come on! You can't be serious. Maybe if I'm patient enough just to kind of wait, then I'll be fine. I can sort of try and gun my way through the boulders, but it's really not working out. Finally, they reached the other side of the river. Wonderful. God, we've lost our female already. So even if we do end up getting to the other side, what will be the point? Oh, the mumps! Wonderful! Yes, horrible diseases. I, I can't really see myself getting through here, even with the help of Van Halen. A large herd of buffalo. So we're slaughtering them buffalo, and we're also taking damage by hitting them. I wanted to get a Tommy gun, but there's too many bloody buffalo in the way, so this is this is tricky. And we're all on one life, which means that I think a single hit will take us down. Oh, come on! The health was right there! Why would you do that? That is so unfair. Here, have the... What, I don't even know what that was. I think it was a rocket ship. We'll, we'll take it. Whatever. Is that a rifle of some sort? Yeah, that sounds beneficial. Okay. So if I just s sort of stay here, I'll be fine. Oh! More mumps! Oh, I recovered from it. Great. Fantastic. I thought it said rediscovered the mumps. I'm like, how does it rediscover the mumps? We came across a fur trader. The fur trader offered them supplies in exchange for animal hides, of which we thankfully have a lot of. All right. Well, I'll definitely have one of them. Oh, I guess that was the only thing I could afford. All right, whatever. Yeah, I got some health. Day 62, there was a tornado, because, you know, why not? The wagon was picked up by the tornado. Are we going into Oz? What's going on here? This doesn't seem historically accurate. Oh, buffalo! Wonderful! Yeah, just great. I hate you so much already. Uh-oh, Jesse's really low on health here as well. This is not going well. Oh, nice health pickup. Great, great, great. This is a game designed to torment people, I feel. That and engender some kind of really large closet hatred for Buffalo. At night, Jesse decided to look for a flower for Total Biscuit. He'd grown fond of Total Biscuit during that- What?! Uh... Jesse brought the flower back to camp and gave it to Total Biscuit. Oh, I love you too, Total Biscuit replied. The two went into the wagon to... Re oh, God damn it. <sighs> Later, Jesse needed to relieve himself, so he left the camp again. It was a zombie. Naturally. God, so... This story is turning itself into a giant fan fiction already, and I hate it so very much. I'm going to find this on Tumblr later, aren't I? I would assume that I even used that bloody site, which I do not. All right. Gun down some more zombies and hopefully not die horribly. There we go. Grab that. It seemed this disease had also spread to the animals. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Zombie buffalo. Yeah, I, I still hate buffalo. I horribly hate them. Let's just line them up and get some good shots. There we go. Lord knows how arrows do this and bullets don't, but hey, you know. Game logic. Come on. Just buffalo are stupidly tough. Ah, zombie ate Jesse's brains. When Jesse did not return to the wagon, Total Biscuit decided to carry on without him. Sound, sounds like me. Delicious meal of snake. Mmm. It's just what we always wanted. Total Biscuit reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. So what is the option here? Total Biscuit had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river. Alternatively, Total Biscuit could go around it through a desert path. Hmm. Swimming underwater sounds like a terrible idea. Maybe we should go around it. Total Biscuit made the possibly wise decision to do so, and entered into the desert. With brand new soundtrack. Total Biscuit avoided venomous snakes. With a gun. We also picked up the venomous snakes. We can hopefully use them to poison the bloody buffalo later on. Ow. What is this? I think it's a rocket launcher. It looks like one. Yeah, that, that's a rocket launcher. That's... Extremely historically accurate. This is the kind of game I feel that you could learn lessons from. The man-eating giant scorpions were- Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Naturally. 
You know, I'm still having a lot more fun with this than I did with Oregon Trail. I can tell you that for a fact. Oh, they pursue you. Even better. Great. So apparently you really do have to shoot those guys. Otherwise, they will just follow you. Already down to two health. We can eat the giant man-eating scorpions anyway, so... Afraid of running out of water, Total Biscuit traveled faster. Oh, great. I have a shotgun and one life. Yeah, this will work well. It's all right. I got the rifle. I think the shotgun was actually a better choice. No, this is actually a shotgun. That was just a... I don't even know what that was, quite frankly. Ooh, health. Sweet. Okay, we're still alive. Double health. The... Yes. Serendipitous. Come on. You unlocked just desert survival mode. Because, you know, obviously that's what I want to play. Total Biscuit noticed some kind of ancient ruin in the side of the trail. Total Biscuit decided to investigate. Into the ancient ruins. This can't go wrong. It was very dark inside. Upon lighting a torch, he found it was filled with undead mummies. Oh, God. These things don't even die. Come on. <laughs> I need a weapon pickup immediately. Otherwise, I have, a, I have this feeling that the undead mummies will most likely kill me. Thankfully, they're stupidly dumb. Total Biscuit ran from the ruins back to the wagon and entered a mountain pass. With, once again, great chiptune music in the background. And then came down with the measles on day 111. How do you even catch these diseases? Food supplies were dwindling, so Total Biscuit hunted. They were dwindling? There were loads of bloody food supplies. This game is a liar and is leading me into contrived situations solely to cause me pain. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Well, I've got plenty of food. There were lots of llamas. Yeah, naturally. I'm going to be trampled to death by a llama here. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, I have a machine gun. Yeah! Grand Theft Llama. Here we go. Massive slaughter. A pack of wolves smelled the blood. Oh, I probably should have actually held on to that. What... A wolf chewed on Total Biscuit until he died. GG. <laughs> that is the end of the game. Ah. Wonderful. That is Supermassive Wagon Adventure, even though that's not the name of it. I'm just going to call it Supermassive Wagon Adventure because I just feel it's a better name. Super Amazing Wagon Adventure is currently available on Desura for $3. Three bucks for this. And it's surprisingly fun because of the kind of randomized nature of it. I'm a little bit concerned that there won't be enough random events to sort of make it worthwhile. That said, it seems like modding potential or additional events could be added. Seems like there's a shuffle mode here as well. Shuffle mode is an endless mix of random scenes from the adventure. Beat the adventure in order to do it. Should we do another one? Yeah, you guys want to see another one, don't you? All right. That and, you know, with, without Dodger dying from diseases in the first two minutes might be a good idea. All right, sweet. It actually keeps everything. That's, that's nice. My trusty wagon. I have a different wagon this time. I have the invisible wagon. Let us ride off into the invisible wagon and... Oh, all right. <laughs> Fair enough. Seeing some animals in an upcoming clearing, they hurried ahead. They needed to stock up on food for the long journey. Let's not do skunks. So I assume that there are probably parts of the game that aren't randomized. And the fact that you start off here gathering food... Oh, this just destroys everything. This is useless. This is no good at all. Posse of bandits interrupted the hunt. It'll be useful for this, though. Good lord. This is a monstrous thing. I don't even know what kind of gun it is because it's too pixelated to tell. This is one of these games where I'll forgive the graphic style. Oh. Wow. How, how, how are we all on one health already? Where did that happen? What the hell happened? I might as well just let them slaughter me and then start again. I, I don't even know how we went down to one health so quickly, but that was that was less than good. I wonder if it was the choice of wagon that made that happen. This is like a, a twisted version of FTL. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. I think that went fairly badly. Okay. A trusty wagon. Let's go with the invisible. It doesn't actually tell you if you start off on one health with this thing. Let me check. Oh, it does. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to have that. So it very much is the whole FTL style of each of these wagons gives a different play style. Since I haven't beaten it on standard, I think I'm just going to play with the standard wagon. The invisible one, I assume, is probably harder to hit because it has a smaller hitbox, but I'm, I refuse <laughs> to start with one heart. That is a terrible idea. All right, let's go a hunting and make sure not to pick up the pink thingy. So let's stock up on some food, as always. So this part is not randomized. This is clearly set up deliberately to allow you to actually get food in the first place. I didn't actually notice the food count going down at any point. 
It may just be for trading, but I don't know. It may be that if your food gets to zero, horrible things end up happening, so should bear that in mind. A posse of bandits interrupted the hunt, yep, as last time, and they'll probably be the machine gun bandit just like that. So, you know, th this, this starts pretty much the same every time, I suppose, which is fine. As long as it sort of randomizes more later on. I have a feeling the order of areas you travel through are probably not randomized either, so it's always something to bear in mind. And here is the machine gun armed wagon. There we go. Ah, missed the good gun. Could at least get some health. There we go. So let's go having a look for some wild berries. We can grab that, no problem at all. Very, very nice. On his way back to the wagon, Jesse noticed the entrance to a cave, so we're going to another one of these. I assume that it's, this one's probably not going to be filled with giant bats like the last one, but we'll see. It's it's almost like if you took WarioWare and smashed it together with Oregon Trail. Ooh, this one's actually filled with guns and ammo, yeah. Hell yeah, I'll absolutely take that. It's the American way. I eat a filling meal of rabbit stew on day 12, and everyone's still alive and hasn't come down with a horrible disease yet, so that's always nice. Ah, to the river crossing, so I guess we're fording again. You know, I'm very tempted to jump over the river just to see what happens. I should, I've got to do that, aren't I? They got a running start and left from the leapt from the top of a ledge. Wee! See, this was... They only made it halfway across the river. They landed in the middle of some rapids. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, God. All right, so I guess we're playing dodge the boulders. Thankfully, the boulders don't spawn here, so that's fine. Should I just cross the river? I guess I should just cross the river. That would kind of make more sense, wouldn't it? Oh, that was easy. Something, something, more boulders. So actually, the jumping across it was surprisingly a good idea. Let's edge forward and just wait for a gap in the boulders, in which they currently are not. Go! Eh! Take a little bit of damage, but never mind. And to the other side of the river. Nice and easy, no problem. And into the Great Plains we go, with the Van Halen music, which I absolutely appreciate. You know, if I was going to have any music for slaughtering buffalo, it would definitely be Van Halen. That would be my absolute choice. Thankfully, I have a shotgun with 30 rounds of ammo, so this time the buffalo will pay for their past transgressions. We remember. Oh, we remember. You can buffalo, buffalo, buffalo all you damn well please. The buffalo will get slaughtered for the glory of something. I could get the crazy gun that disintegrates everything, but just... Ah, oh, there we go. I can at least grab the health just on the edge there without taking any damage. It's always nice. Yes, this is the buffalo slaughtering gun. Absolutely. This is a stupid amount of fun, by the way, if you hadn't already guessed, because it's got that sort of silly roguelike-esque element to it. And, you know, any true roguelike fans can say, this is not a roguelike. You're right, it's not. But it, it's the whole notion of sort of pseudo-randomization and the way that your party can die at any moment that's actually a, a, a ton of fun to play. That's a good thing. That's what you want from games like this. It's definitely lo-fi, but... There's a reason for it being lo-fi this time around, and I've played so many games lately where there clearly was no good reason whatsoever. I'm pretty sure that's carpet bombing. There was no good reason whatsoever for it to be lo-fi. In this case, there's a really good reason because it is trying to evoke memory of Oregon Trail. Uh-oh, angry buffalo. Oh, God. All right. Let's just be a little bit more careful with our am ammunition conservation, shall we? A couple more rounds left. Ah, fur trader. And I actually have tons of stuff, so what can I get? Well, I could buy a heart there, but it would be nice to also get some ammunition. Okay, so one heart for 20. I could definitely afford that. There we go. And do I want the gun that vaporizes everything, or do I want that? Hmm. Ah, no. A few of the guns that... There we go. Let's get 64 rounds of the vaporization gun. The front wheels of the wagon fell off, and the wagon was stuck. Unfortunate. Total Biscuit left the wagon to fetch the wheels. The first wheel rolled near a coyote den. Thankfully, I have the vaporization gun of doom, so I'm not overly worried about that. Plus, this den only had two coyotes in it, it would seem, so that's not too bad. This is not a real historically accurate gun, but the coyotes are very, very fast. I was wanting to conserve ammunition, but I guess we can't do that. The second wheel rolled into a camp filled with bandits. Yes, who's gonna get melted? Yeah, that'll be you. Welcome to Earth. Thank you. Total Biscuit returned to the wagon and put the wheels back in. They reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. So what shall we do? Total Biscuit had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river. Alternatively, they could go around it through a desert path, which of course makes infinitely more sense, which is why I'm going to pick the swim option. They took a deep breath and then jumped in. Under the sea. 
They faced deadly piranhas. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what else? They're also very slow-moving piranhas. Uh-oh. I, I have just... <laughs> yeah, I, I made the wrong decision here, I feel. Uh, no, why did I do that? The other gun was much better, and now I'm horribly stuck, and I'm going to get eaten by piranhas. Thankfully, it seems there are invulnerability frames. And poisonous jellyfish. Oh, naturally, of course. What else? Oh, they take multiple hits as well. Even bloody better. Thankfully, I can pick up the piranhas for delicious food. Sweet vaporization gun. Yeah, we'll have that. It does unfortunately mean that you can't pick them up, but it is pretty good nonetheless. Yeah! Yeah! Fighting fish survival mode. Just what I wanted. It's got this nice element of discovery to it. I landed on a small island, of course, naturally. Tunnel Biscuit noticed some very large eggs sitting on the beach. He fancied an omelette for breakfast. Mmm, delicious. Alright, I'm going to be attacked by giant birds now, aren't I? Oh, pterodactyls! Right, well, that's kind of the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, God! <laughs> this... I could eat delicious pterodactyl. I only have five rounds left. They're coming from the side as well. I should clearly sit in the center. It gives me more reaction time. There we go. This is refreshing. It seemed the island had an isolated ecosystem in which dinosaurs were not extinct. Yes, evidently. I'm hoping the Tommy guns aren't also extinct. Total Biscuit was impressed by how the Velociraptors hunted in a pack. Coordinated to corner him. He wasn't so impressed for long because he died. Well, that was unfortunate. When Total Biscuit did not return to the wagon, they left the island without him, swinging onto the shore of the river. They entered a mountain pass. With also really, really cool music. This is a great concept. Jesse became ill with spotted fever. That's not such a great concept, but hey. I feel, you know, maybe some more randomization would be good. Food supplies would dwindle length. Uh-oh. Yep, okay, let's go hunt some llama, because why not? There we go. And baby llama, and all sorts of other things like that. Yep. Food supplies weren't really dwindling. We actually had tons of them. We were eating pterodactyl. We were eating like kings. There we go. A pack of wolves smelled the blood. Unfortunately, we don't have a good gun. Let's focus on the wolves, because they're the ones that are trying to kill us. The rest of them don't really care all that much. Arrgh! There we go. This wagon is not very maneuverable, as you might imagine. This is a great concept. It's extremely fun. <laughs> wolves just ate Jesse Cox. And yeah, I, th I have a feeling we're going to die here. This did not go well. There we go. And I also end up getting the survival mode. It is pleasantly retro, which is what I can say is not the case in the majority of games I've been playing lately that have had that kind of retro feel. Ooh, yeah, damn right. I'm going to have a new faster pistol. Absolutely. Upgrades. Yeah, that was a lot of ammunition. Oh, the there's no active volcanoes here. That's clearly a lie. Uh-oh. Yeah, let's, let's avoid lava. Then they're going to throw things at me, aren't they? Wolves burning alive ran from the lava flow. Fire This is not fair at all. God damn it. <laughs> Burned alive. Alive? What? Burned alive by a wolf. Unfortunate. Volcano bombs. Yeah, naturally. Are they going to combine those with the wolves? No, they're not. Okay. And that killed me. GG. Ah. Uh. This is really fun. This is absolutely fantastic. Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. It's $3, available on Desura. A lot of unlockables. A lot of different little things to discover. It, it's got this kind of... I don't know if any of you have played this. You probably have, because it's been hyped on Reddit to the end of time. Frog Fractions. You probably played that. It's got these little pieces of gameplay that encourage exploration and discovery that make it really, really enjoyable. It's basic, of course, but I love the randomization part of it, and it's funny. Like, the writing is really good. I don't like the text. It would be nice if they actually used a different font. I understand they go for the 8-bit look, but it's actually just a little bit annoying to read every now and again. It would be great if people modded this game. It would be great if the game got more content. And it's $3. Of course I'm going to recommend it. It's great fun. Absolutely fantastic. My name is Total Biscuit, taking a look at Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. I'll see you next time.